Hi folks, and welcome to today's practice called Finding Space. Sometimes our to-do list and the busyness of our days can leave us feeling a little overwhelmed and squeezed in. Or like our current situation where we're all practicing social distancing and staying home so everybody can stay healthy and safe. We might feel like the, there's days where the walls are a little bit closer than others and that we're really craving more space. In today's 45 minute gentle at all levels class, um, we will carve out space. We will take up space on our yoga mats. We'll start with a warm up that will invite the holding intention in our bodies to relax a little bit, hoping that we can take these bigger full breaths and feel the expansion and spaciousness in our own bodies. And then we'll move into some bigger poses big poses and where we will take up as much space as we want on our yoga mats above the yoga mats we will find space we will take space and re and just honor ourselves in um what we need in this moment in saying that we do have to remember that this is your yoga practice and you know your body best so please if there's a pose or a movement um that isn't driving in your body today, just leave that behind. Yoga never hurts. Okay, so we're gonna begin by sitting on our mats. I recommend that you grab a folded blanket or a yoga block, something that you can prop up underneath your hips, uh, prop underneath your hips so your hips are propped up, allowing you to sit a little bit taller and start to find that spaciousness right off the get-go. So sitting nice and tall here, Let's begin with some shoulder rolls. So allowing the shoulders to come up, back, and down. Rolling through the shoulders. I find I'm doing this a whole lot during the day just to draw attention to how tight my shoulders are getting and bring a little bit of movement to my body. When you're doing this, see if you can allow some softness in the jaw as well. Perhaps you just part your back teeth, allow your lips to part. Beautiful, nice, full movements. Perhaps these circles get larger and larger. We're just looking to wake the shoulders up. We'll do one more big scoop here. Let the shoulders come to stillness. Let's take our right arm and extend it way up to the side. And then on the exhale, let's bring our right arm in front of us. The left arm will come up as a little shelf. So our right arm is resting on our left arm. The backs of both arms are against each other. Keeping ourselves nice and tall, not allowing the right shoulder to travel forward with the arm, but rather keeping just the arm making the movement and the shoulder staying stacked atop of the hips, we'll go ahead and push the two arms against each other. So drawing the left forearm back and the right forearm forward, creating a little bit of resistance here. Remembering to breathe while we're here. When we create these push and hold poses, we tend to hold our breath, but we want the breath to continue to flow. And then we're gonna go ahead and let the right arm just fall like a rag doll. Just for a breath or two here. Left arm's holding the right arm up. And then we'll go and re-engage that resistance. So allowing the two arms to push against each other again. One more big breath in here. And then exhale, let both arms go. All right, let's do that on the other side. Left arm goes out to the side. And then the exhale, we cross in front of our body. This time the right arm is gonna come under and around the left arm. So both forearms are pushing against each other again. Take a little check in to see if the left shoulder has traveled forward. And if you can go ahead and stack both shoulders over both hips while we're pushing the two forearms together. I guess it's the back of the forearms. Push, 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 push. Allow the breath to flow. And then we'll let the left arm just fall, allowing the right arm to hold the left arm. And we'll take a couple breaths here. And then re-engage. So pushing the two arms against each other, right arms pulling back, left arms pushing forward. Breathing while we're here. And then we'll go ahead and let that go. Whew. Let's bring our hands to our thighs or to our knees. And take a few cat-cow motions. So on our inhale, we really think of 
pulling our torso forward, shining our heart forward, allowing our chin to lift and our shoulders to roll back on our back body. On the exhale, we'll take the motion the other way. We'll tilt our pelvis back. Our chin comes to our chest and we round through the spine. Shoulders might even come up to the ears. Inhale, let's shine forward, lengthening all the way up to our nose. And then exhale, rounding backwards, chin the chest. Inhale forward. Exhale back. One more. Inhale forward. Exhale, rounding back. Push, push, push the back, way back, and then draw yourself upright again. We're actually gonna come to lie on our backs right now. So if you're sitting on the block or the blanket, just push, push it off to the side, roll yourself down to come to your back with your knees bent and the feet on the earth. So we'll keep our feet about hip width apart. Knees are bent. Go ahead and bring your hands to your belly. And we'll have a little bit of practice with our belly breath. So first, let's snuggle those shoulder blades down. Make sure we're nice and tall through the body. You might have to lift the hips to provide some space from shoulders to hips. And then when you feel comfortable, come to stillness with those hands on your belly. Let's take a lovely breath in. And this time on the exhale, think of really exhaling all your breath. Squeeze your belly to exhale all the breath. And then full breath, breath in, filling through the chest, filling through the belly, expanding the hands. Exhale, fully exhaling. Inhale all the way into the belly, expanding through the belly. Exhale, out through the lips. Perhaps we use the inhale through the nose to fill all the way into the belly. And the exhale out through pursed lips. Continuing in this manner, if you find it's hard to get the breath all the way down into the belly, really focus on exhaling completely, 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 and then allowing the full inhale to come in. One more big breath cycle here. All right, let's go ahead and draw our right knee into our chest, holding on with our hands around our shin or our thigh, and take some ankle circles, allowing the toes to make a big old circle one way, and then the other. Beautiful. We'll bring our foot to stillness here and start making those big circle motions with our knees. So perhaps we just use the right hand on our knee to make big circles, big clockwise circles first. Bringing the knee far away from the body, out to the side, into the body, across the body, back out. And then take it the opposite way, counterclockwise, making these big circles with our knees. Getting into the hips here, waking everything up. And then we'll bring our knee back to stillness here. Big breath in. And on the exhale, right foot comes to the earth. Let's use our exhale to bring the left knee in. Taking this story to the other side, we begin with the ankle circles. So the circles are, then toes are, ooh, let's try that again. The toes are circling one way. And then the other. We'll bring the foot to stillness. Left knee to left hand, left hand, left knee. And we start making big circles. Perhaps we start counterclockwise this way. Allowing big circles. Big circles that are comfortable in your body. And then we take the motion in the opposite way. So we're going clockwise now with these big knee circles. We'll bring our knee to stillness, coming back into that hug, pulling the thigh into the chest. 
big breath in here. And on the exhale, let's bring our right leg up to join. So now we've got two knees up for a big old squeeze here. And then extend ourselves out nice and long. So we're gonna send our legs out long and our hands up above our head, thumbs heading down towards the floor here. Send those toes away from the hands, really starting to take up space. Spread the hands really wide. Perhaps we even spread the toes. Wiggle a little bit more to get stretched out just that much more. Relax in the stretch a little bit, remaining with the hands above the head and the feet extended out long. Let's go ahead and take a banana asana. Just as it sounds, we're gonna make the shape of a banana. So take both feet over to the right bottom corner of your mat, going towards the right corner, whatever distance feels comfortable in your body. And then the two, right, the two hands will go to the top right corner of the mat, getting this lovely side body stretch here, reminding ourselves that if something's not feeling comfortable, we can just back out of the pose a little bit more. If you're looking to add a little bit more to the pose, the left leg can cross over the right leg, pushing down into the earth, creating a little bit extra stretch. One more big old breath in here. On our exhale, we'll go ahead and bring our hands back to center, and then our feet back to center. Shimmy to make sure we're nice and straight again. And then take it to the other side. So both feet go over to the bottom left corner of the mat. Both feet go over, both hands go over to the top left corner of the mat. Again, checking in to see if this is enough. If we need to dial it back or intensify as we need. If we're adding a little extra, the right foot can cross over the left leg. Breathing while we're here. Last full inhale here. Exhale brings our hands back to center and our feet back to center. Let's go ahead and draw our knees back into our chest and start doing a little bit of rocking and rolling front to back. There's a little bit of fun here. And if you feel comfy to rock yourself right straight up to a seated position, feel free to do so. If not, Come up to your seated position. Once we end in our, land in our seated position, we're actually gonna flip ourselves right over like a pancake, coming to our hands and knees. Let's take our knees wide on our mat and our big toes to touch. Take a deep breath in and make sure you're nice and long through the body. And then exhale, send your hips back for child's pose, allowing the hips to grow heavy towards the uh, feet, the heels. Allowing your head to come down towards the mat. You might wish to use a block underneath your forehead or stack your hands if bringing the head directly to the mat feels a little too much tonight. Hands are spread out nice and wide and reaching away from our shoulders. If your shoulders are feeling a little tight, go ahead and bring your hands in together, creating this little triangle of your forearms. Gives a little bit more space in the shoulders. Wherever we are, we're breathing full breaths in again. This time our thighs are gonna give us that feedback that we're getting that breath all the way down into our bellies. And big breaths out through our mouth. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and lift our forehead off the mat just ever so slightly. Might walk your hands back towards you a little touch. We're going to take our right hand and thread it underneath our left arm, allowing the elbow to land on the earth underneath our chin. So here we are. We're starting to make ourselves a little bit of a pretzel. This, we're going to go into a little bit of twist. So we'll start here. This might be enough. If you're looking for a little bit more twist, you're going to start walking that right hand further away from the body, drawing the right arm in underneath, threading through the hole underneath the left arm, perhaps even to the point where we can rest our shoulder or head on the earth. So we have this little figure four or thread the needle twist here. Taking lovely breaths in, allowing the hips to stay heavy. We'll go ahead and take one more big full breath in here. 
We'll use our exhale to make sure we're toning the belly as we unthread our right arm and set our right arm back out long in front of us. So now we've got both hands out long from the shoulders. Let's take it to the other side. Let's begin by taking the left hand and threading it underneath the right arm, resting the elbow, the left elbow, underneath our chin here. This may be where we start. And then if you wish to take a little bit further, the left hand starts walking further away from the body, threading more of the arm underneath the right arm, perhaps allowing us to come down to the earth. Remember, we're only taking what we want and leaving the rest behind. One more full breath in here. On the exhale, we'll make sure we tone the belly as we rise ourselves back up. Both hands out nice and long in front of us. And we'll go ahead and push ourselves up to our tabletop position. Bringing those knees underneath our hips. Take a peek to make sure our wrists are underneath our shoulders and our hands are spread nice and wide. Let's add some cat-cow motions here. So inhale drops the belly, shines the heart, lifts the chin, perhaps even a smile. Exhale, rounds through the back as we push into the ground, rounding up through the back. Inhale, we come forward. Exhale, take it back. Take a few more breath cycles, allowing your own body to wiggle and jiggle where it needs to to work out any sort of kinks that are happening. So you might take the hips side to side, looking to create some space in your body. Take a little scan and see what's tight and invite some movement. Allowing for that tightness to leave and more spacious feeling to be invited in. One more full breath cycle of in and out. Then we'll go ahead and return to that flat back position. Long and tall from tail to crown. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and curl our toes under. Walk our hands ahead of just about one handprint forward. And then big breath in. Exhale, tone the belly, send the hips up to the sky. Downward facing dog. Let's go ahead and pedal our puppy out. Dropping one heel and bending the other knee. Rotating back and forth like you're walking in this on the spot here. Pushing into the hands and sending the tailbones, the sit bones, way up to the sky. Taking up lots of space here. Full breath in, exhale out through the mouth. Let's bring ourselves to stillness and really think about pushing the into the hands all the way up through the side bodies, sending the hips up, 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 up and back. Inhale, we'll look forward, exhale, we'll go ahead and take a nice walk all the way to the forward, to the front of the mat, landing in Uttanasana, forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you need to allow those fingertips to kiss the earth. The feet are about hip width apart. Let's use our inhale to give ourselves one halfway lift. So bring in our hands to our thighs, roll our shoulders back, send the crown away from the tail. Staying here, feeling feet grounded and long, tall length through the side bodies. We'll allow our next exhale to fold us forward. Inhale, sweep our hands all the way up as we came up to Tadasana. And then exhale, bring your elbows down and out. Goal post arms. Inhale, hands go right straight back up. Exhale, Spread your hands wide as we forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your hands all the way. Exhale, goal post arms. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Long and tall. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your hands all the way up. Exhale, go pose arms. Inhale, sweep your hands up. And exhale, release your hands to your sides. Beautiful. So I'll turn this way, but you can stay facing the front of your mat if that's good for you. We're going to 
have a little bit of fun here and create a little bit of heat. So let's take our feet a little bit further apart than hip width apart. Giving yourself a little bit of space. Feel your feet firmly rooted in the earth though. Keep a soft bend in your knee while we take this motion. So this comes with many different names. Maypole swings, free fall, free twists, ring the gong. It's designed to have a little bit of twisting action and a whole lot of fun. So just allowing our hands to rest by our side kind of loosely. We'll start spinning our shoulders side to side allowing the bend to come through the knees as we need, as we swing ourselves side to side. Momentum's gonna build up and our arms are gonna start swinging a little bit further away from our body and perhaps tapping our hips just before we twist to the opposite side. We're gonna go ahead and take as much as we need. So if you are looking for a little bit more fun, a little bit more energy, you're gonna speed that twisting up and as we speed the twisting up, if we're just letting our hands go, they might travel up the body, perhaps tapping the back, the lower back, or upper back even. If you're spinning fast enough, remember if you get dizzy, go ahead and stop before you drop. Either way, we're spinning and just allowing this moment to be, breathing while we're here. Allow some softness to come into your jaw and your forehead. And then we'll go ahead and start slowing it down, just nice and gentle. Allow it to slow down just as much, as long as it took to speed up, I should say. Yeah. Eventually we'll come to a point that our spinning stops. And we're standing nice and tall. Perhaps we stand here for a moment, still feeling the spinning even though we're standing still. Feeling our heart thumping a little bit. Welcoming to ourselves, to our practice a little bit further. We're standing at the top of our mat, adding a little bit of extra movement here. We'll keep our right foot planted. We're heading to a warrior two. So let's go ahead and purposefully take as much space as you want. So big breath in, let's go ahead and lift the left knee. And on the exhale, take that big step back as far as you wanna go, take as much as you want, landing with your foot parallel to the back of the mat. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and make sure both feet are firmly planted in the earth. The outside of the left foot and the big toe of the right foot, pushing down so we're firmly rooted. You can almost feel yourself pushing into the earth. And then allow the earth to rebound energy up tall through the body. Standing tall and proud. When you feel ready, send your hands outside the side. Reach and extend yourself. Expand the hands nice and wide. Keeping length through the body and rootedness through the feet here. Take full breath in and a full breath out. This is your space. Keeping our front knee bent, we'll take the left hand to the left thigh. Flip the right hand, wait for your next inhale. And when it comes, rise your right hand up to the sky for this peaceful warrior. Long, tall length all the way up. Still rooted down through the earth, but allowing yourself to rebound right out of those feet, right up to the top of your fingertips. Let's use our next exhale to come back down to our warrior two. This time we're gonna play here. So keeping our expansiveness horizontally this way, we're gonna match the expansiveness vertically. So big inhale, straightens our front knee, both hands come up to touch, reaching nice and tall, fingers spread really wide. You might even look up and see how much space you're taking. Exhale, come on back to your warrior two, spread your hands wide. Inhale, come on up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Look at the hands. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. Take a face. Exhale down. 
Beautiful. Inhale to look over the right hand. Exhale, walk yourself forward. Top of the mat again. Inhale, swings your both hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your hands all the way up. Reach nice and tall. You might even come up on your toe taps. Exhale, release your hands. Let's take our warrior two to the other side. Left foot's going to stay where it is. Big, nice inhale. Lengthens us through the body. Exhale, lifts our right foot and steps it back to the back, towards the back of the mat, landing parallel to the back of the mat, deciding how much space we want to take. In this pose, we firmly root our feet down. Pushing into the outside, little toe side of the right foot and the big toe of the left foot. Left knee is bent or firmly rooted into the earth. Almost feel like you're pushing yourself down into the earth and then rebound out nice and tall all the way to the crown. When you feel ready, that next inhale is going to send our hands out front to back, length of the mat. We might create a little bit of space in our shoulders this time by flipping our hands up to the sky. It opens a little bit through the chest. You might play with keeping the shoulders and elbows where they are and allow the wrist to come back, palms facing down to the earth. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and drop our right hand to our right thigh. Flip our left hand using our next inhale. We'll reach up to the sky. Nice and tall. You might even look at the hand. That's okay with your neck or find a comfortable position for your neck to rest. So even though we're reaching up nice and tall, we're still staying, staying firmly rooted into the earth through our feet, pushing down into the earth and extending up from the earth at the same time. One more big breath in here. Exhale, come on back down to our warrior two. Here we go with those pulses again. So inhale, both hands come on up, palms to touch, front knee bend, or straighten, sorry. Exhale, back down to your warrior two. Take up space, inhale, up we go. You might look to your hands. Exhale, come down. Inhale, come on back up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Straightening the leg, lengthening all the way up to the fingertips. Exhale, come on back down. Warrior two, stay there. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk forward, landing back in our mountain pose. Feet parallel to each other. Inhale, sweep our hands all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale for one halfway lift. And then exhale, fold and plant your hands. Step yourself back to your downward facing dog. Just gonna have a touch of fun here, pushing into the hands, sending the tailbones way up to the sky. Take a deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Let's go ahead and walk our hands to meet our feet towards the back of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sweeps our hands all the way up. Exhale, goal pose turns, elbows back to the sides. Inhale, hands go up. Exhale, release your hands. We're using this whole mat tonight. It's our space. So your choice, you can walk or take a bunny hop since it's Easter to the middle of the mat and face sideways. Once we come here, we'll go ahead and stack our hands over top of each other. Take a deep breath in, lengthening through the spine. And on your exhale, expand yourself out, landing with your feet parallel to each other and your hands out side to side. Five point star. So big pose here, feeling ourselves in this comfy stance. So finding that stance that feels comfortable for you. Taking deep breaths in. Go ahead and roll your shoulders back. Shine your heart a little bit forward. Take one more big breath in, filling all the way down into your heels. And then exhale, reach out and beyond your fingertips. All right, let's draw our hands to our hips and bring our heels in to like a 45 degree. 
we're going to do a little test here. We're heading to goddess pose. So we're going to do a little test to see if 45 degrees is really where our feet should be for our body. So we do a little start doing a little squat, a little bend with the knee and take a peek and see if the knees are traveling in the same direction as the feet are. If the knees are coming in more, then go ahead and put your feet there. We want our knees and our feet to be traveling on the right, on the same road. They want to be on the same road. You might sink a little bit deeper experimenting with it and think, oh, my feet need to go further apart or, oh, my feet need to become, need to come much closer together. We're finding something that suits us. All right. So once we get the bottom half of us working the way we want, we'll go ahead and send our hands way up to the sky on the inhale. And on the exhale, add those goal pose arms like we've been practicing. Inhale nice and tall through the torso, expanding from hips to armpits. And exhale, squat down with the knees, bending the knees. Goddess pose, beautiful. Same thing, we're gonna add those rocket ships. So inhale, hands come up to touch, reach nice and tall, straightening the legs. Exhale, we come back down into our goddess pose. Inhale, hands come up to touch, straighten the legs, reach tall, look how tall you are. Exhale, expand down and out. One more, inhale up, exhale, expand down and out. Beautiful, so we're in our goddess pose here. If it's okay with you, stay right where you are. Let's go ahead and bring our right hand to our right thigh. Reach our left hand up nice and tall, take a big breath in. On the exhale, we'll crescent over to the right, drawing our left armpit and hip far away from each other. Inhale, back up with both hands, straighten your legs. Exhale, goddess pose, arms bend, knees bend. Let's go ahead and bring our left hand to our left thigh. Inhale, right hand up, nice and straight. Exhale, over we go to the left this time, lengthening from right hip to right armpit. Big breath in, we come up with both hands, straighten our legs. Exhale down, one more goddess pose, just for good measure. Inhale, come on up. Let's heel toe our feet together. All right, we'll make our way to the top of the mat. So coming to the top of the mat, we'll take a big breath in, reach out, 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 up, up, up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale for that one halfway lift tall through the spine, exhale to fold, plant your hands and step yourself back, dropping your knees, swing your feet around so you can lower your, your sit bones onto the earth, swing your legs around, we are coming to lie down, so rolling yourself onto your back, knees are bent and feet on the earth. Go ahead and take a few windshield wipers. So we're allowing our knees to tra travel together to one side and then the other, just nice and slow and gentle. You may experiment since we're playing with taking up space tonight. You may experiment with taking your feet further apart than hip width and allowing the windshield wipers to happen. We're just keeping soft through the shoulders, allowing them to melt towards the earth. And if you wish to pause at any side, feel free to do so. Noticing if we can slow our breath down a little bit, perhaps coming back to that candle breath we often practice, blowing out through pursed lips, imagining that you're blowing on a candle, making it dance, but not go out. Draw our knees back into center. We will bring our feet into hip width apart again, still resting with the soles on the earth. Let's inhale our right foot way up to the sky like we're standing on the ceiling. And on the exhale, take the outside of the right ankle and rest it on the left thigh. 
Now let's figure four twist. We did a figure four twist with our upper body in child's pose and do a figure four twist with our legs now. So if staying here is already taught making your body talk to you, you're gonna stay right there. If you're looking for a little bit more stretch, you'll go ahead and reach around your left thigh and draw into your chest. Remember, we're looking for a little hello, not a holy smokes in all these stretches. So just take what we want and leave the rest behind. If you're looking to add a little bit of extra hamstring stretch, the left leg could be extended up to the sky. But again, we're taking what we want, leaving the rest behind, keeping the shoulders soft, find some softness in the jaw. And the long exhalations continuing. Let's use our next exhalation to let the left foot come back to the earth. The following inhale sends the right foot way up tall, lengthening through the leg. And then the following exhale, right foot comes to the earth. You might shimmy the hips a little bit to make sure you're nice and tall through the body. Keeping the right foot on the earth this time, inhale the left foot way up to the sky, long tall leg. On the exhale, outside of left ankle, rest on right thigh. Each side of our body shows up differently, so we're gonna decide how does it feel on this side? If we're looking for a little bit more stretch, we'll go ahead and draw that right thigh into the chest. I'm breathing here. Let's go ahead and use our next exhale to let the right foot come to the earth. Inhale sends the left foot way up, nice long stretch. Exhale, both feet to the earth. We'll bring both knees in for that hug again that we started with. This time you might rock side to side. Woo, I almost rocked right over. Coming to one hip and then the other. If you wish, you might take both knees in big circles this time, going clockwise and then counterclockwise or vice versa. Just making sure you go both ways. And then coming to stillness, giving ourselves the biggest hug we've had all day. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then take one more big full body stretch. I have to take this full body stretch, considering the theme of the class today. And then go ahead and allow your next exhale to let your hands come to your side. We're setting ourselves up for Shavasana. So whatever position suits your body, please feel free to take that. Laying out long is not your jam. Taking your sole of the feet to the earth as wide as your yoga mat and allowing your knees to fall in at each other might be nice. Whatever position you're choosing for your final resting pose. Go ahead and do a scan through your body. See if you can find something that needs to shimmy just ever so slightly to become that much more comfortable and grant yourself permission to do so. This is your final resting pose that you've earned I want to make sure you're super comfy. We allow ourselves to sit here in Shavasana, inviting a moment of stillness in the busy, a moment for us to connect to our breath, to our heart. moment for us to just be. slowly come out of Shavasana by allowing our breath to deepen and small movements to come to our body, perhaps wiggling our fingers and toes, allowing these movements to begin to grow larger. We might invite another hug or stretch 
whatever movement your body is craving for in this moment. And then we'll make our way to a side of our choice. Pause there. Using our hands, let's push into the earth and return to a seated position of your choice. Sitting nice and tall. We'll allow an inhale to lengthen us just a little bit taller from tail to crown. And exhale to find some softness. We'll draw our hands to heart center. Mm, much gratitude to you for sharing your practice this evening. May we be healthy and safe. And may we forever know the love that surrounds us. Namaste.